Good evening and welcome to extensive highlights of the final home Premier League game of the season. Burnley take on Swansea City in what's going to be a party now. Burnley can't be caught. Everybody else has played 38 games more or less. So Burnley could end the season on 79 points. Swansea are also safe from relegation. They're comfortable in mid-table. So really it's a game with nothing to play for. But you're going to see extended highlights of this game. But uh, Sado Berino and Bojan, both will surely be going to the World Cup, respectively. Berino has, in fact, been selected for the England World Cup squad, chosen by Stuttgart. And several Burnley players have been selected as well. Burnley have picked their strongest possible 11 for this game, even though the European Cup match final is about four or five days away. So it's the same side that uh, took on Man United and beat them in the FA Cup final on Saturday. And uh, it should be an interesting game for them. And then as we stated at the start, Saido Berrino does play up front. And he will play up front on his own with uh, Bray and Ayu and Shelby offering some support. Fernandes and Williams will have their work cut out against the likes of Mings and Pavatelli. Former Arsenal keeper Lucas Fabianski is in goal for the Swans tonight. And the referee in charge of the action and what's going to be a party atmosphere at Turf Moor this evening. And no wonder he's fell down from Staffordshire. We've got a game of football to play out and then the trophy presentation at the end. Whatever the outcome tonight, Burnley have had a fabulous season. The league title will be received at the end of this match tonight. The title was won several weeks ago. So in reality, they've won three trophies, although they've yet to receive the league championship. And then a fourth one, potentially, if they can beat Barcelona on Wednesday night. Here's Kieran Trippier. And an early crossing there. Fristed away by Fabianski. And Shelby can get it away for Swansea. In the all-white strip tonight. He's kept it in rather well. Oh, he's done well there, the former Liverpool and Watford man. And a good tackle there by John Stokes. Norton. Bray. Good ready by Bray to the penalty area. Short cross with an early touch and he almost fell to Ayu, but Eaton was there. Here from Redmond for, uh, for Burnley. Maybe it's in Swansea then. <laughs> Here's Loftus Cheek. Loftus Cheek. Good effort. Well saved, Fabianski. Saido Barrino. Now Grimes. Cork. Norton. Well, whatever happens here, it's party time. Martial has equalised for Manchester United against Stoke City. Danny Ings for Burnley. Strange ball to play that. Fabianski playing sweep the keeper. Cork. Tabanoff. Good ball by him and Ayu is away. And Tom Heated taking no chances. Tabano. Tom Joe Shelby. Berahino. Grimes to pray. No foul, said Mr. Dowd, and here comes uh, Danny Ings on the ball for Burnley. Ings with the left foot. Good save by Funkus Fabianski. Best chance we've seen in the game so far. It came from the left foot of Danny Ings. Good save there by Fabianski. Redman with the corner. Palatelio marked. And it's behind for another corner by John Joe Shelby. Redmond to try again once more. Balotelli punched away, but not over yet for Swansea until now because Redmond has strayed from an offside. Well, how can he be offside when he's off the field of play? I don't understand that, though. I'd like anyone to write in and suggest that. That seems to me as 
How ridiculous, bro. Danny Ings. Goal kick. Getting closer all the time, though, Burnley. Not far away, as it happened. Trippier, good play, this. Burnley looking to play with some spirit and play with a bit of style. Here's Redmond. Away from Williams, that's a lovely cross. And off the cheek, unmarked, makes it 1-0. And that was a fantastic move from Burnley. Redmond giving Ashley Williams here the slip, more or less. And there was no one marking Ruben Loftus-Cheek, who had the audacity to side-head the ball past the despairing Lucas Fabianski. And the champions are in front in their own title party. 1-0, Ruben Loftus-Cheek's fourth for the season. If anything now that's settled uh, Burnley down really that's a good ball by Bowyer to Nathan Redman once again again Ings and Balotelli wait in the centre that will be towards Ings but it's too close in the end to goalkeeper Fabianski Cork for Swansea Andre Ayew Shelby Ayew again Shawcross doing well Stones Lovely play from Redmond, and that's a lovely ball over the far side to Rodriguez. Two added minutes at the end of the first half. And that's a lovely ball in, and Balotelli denied by a brilliant Fabianski save. But the flag had gone up for offside anyway. So even if Balotelli had have profited from it, the goal would not have been able to count. Shelby to Cork, half time then, and Burnley have been much the better side in this final game of the season, the goal in the 35th minute from Ruben Loftus-Cheek is the difference, and in this title party, Burnley lead it by a goal to nil. So welcome back to Turf Moor, for the second half, the final 45 minutes of Burnley season, Ali Alavic, Joey Barton and Mental every place, uh, Redmond, Loftus Cheek and Bojan all saves for the European Cup final on Saturday night. Another game you'll be able to see live with us. And this will be the Piesta resistance to the Burnley season. And then there's England to come, of course, in the World Cup. You'll see every England game live in its entirety. Swansea get the second half underway. Here's Barahino. Now attacking the goal to our right. They don't want to go down to the season here. Knowing that, uh, uh, that the handle he placed in mid-table. But here's Danny Ings. He's got Balotelli waiting in the centre. Early cross in there. Balotelli should score. And he has done. And that's goal number 30 in the Premier League this season. And I said last week when he scored against Watford. I wouldn't back against him. Making it 30 next this week against Swansea. And he's done just that. Oh, what a perfect header. And Burnley rounding off this title running season in league terms in Champagne football with Champagne with the quality of football that has been Champagne football for most of the season. 2 0. Surely now no way back for Swansea City. Here's Barahino though. Here's Saido Perejido, and almost uh, a response of the highest calibre from Swansea City. But the man going to the World Cup with England blazed over the bar. Galloway. Barton. This is his turf more swung, swung, uh, swan song this uh, for Joey Barton. And he might just finish it here with a goal. Joey Barton. Oh, unlucky. Well, he's retiring at the end of the season, Joey Barton. And he almost finished his turf more career with a flourish. 
How unlucky can you get? Norton. 50-50% in the possession front. That's a foul, and that's no foul, so Ali Alavich's tackle was fair. Here's Balotelli. Let me go, number 31, almost was. Danny Ings trying to get in there. The ball slipped away by Grimes. Showcross. That's a lovely ball, but Fabianski picks it up. Rick it given. Offside, I think, against the Swansea player. They've made another change. Damiao comes on to replace the ineffective Grimes. Alianovic to Barton. Still Joey Barton. Still Joey Barton. Always getting closer. I don't think he's destined to score here tonight. Unlucky. Norton. Cork. Just five more minutes of the season to go and Burnley can celebrate the receiving of the championship trophy. Meanwhile, there's a chance for Bray and here's a chance for Sarriedo and he's missed it. Sassido, I think he's called. If I've got the pronunciation wrong, I do apologise. But that was a poor finish regardless of it. Of who he is. Final change for Swansea. Jefferson Montero replaces Alex Bersham. Some flashes of genius throughout the match. But hasn't really set the world on light for Swansea, really, realistically today. Now, can barely finish the season with a, a bit of sh magic here. Joey Barton. And the crowd willing him to go all the way now and score. This would be marvellous if he could do it. Always. Oh, Bundled off the ball, but he's still going, but he's going to have a free kick. Crude challenge, really, by the Swansea players. Referee. I think Balotelli will take it. Balotelli! Hit the stanchion at the back. Not that it's going to matter now because they're about to party like they've never partied for so long. They've waited 56 years for a title last season and now, like London buses, two come along at once. As Babianski kicks clear. Ayu, Shelby, Burnley are the champions. They can celebrate now. Goals from Roftus Cheek and Bolotelli in the second half. He was side of half time, won the three points, takes them to 79 points. But now they will receive the Premier League trophy in front of their own supporters. And then they can plan for the raid on Real Madrid on Saturday night. Again, you can see what is live. And what a way it could be. They're the champions of England. They were confirmed that a few weeks ago. They've won the Capital One League Cup. They've won the FA Cup on Saturday. And now Tom Heaton will we finally get his hands for a second year running on the Barclays Premier League. Jerry Barton ends the season with a league winner's medal and goes into retirement surely in his last appearance. He didn't score today. So the Premier League is going to be presented by Richard Scudamore, the chairman of the Premier League. And Burnley are the champions of England again. And now all eyes will be on the European Cup final on Saturday when they take on the most successful European side in the, in the competition's history. But tonight it's all about celebration. But then he'll be back to planning for the European Cup final. Can they add the crown, the title of Champions of Europe to the Champions of England? The third leg of the... Uh, the, they've got three legs of the quadruple, potentially one, along with the Charity Shield. Now it's to the match with Real Madrid on Saturday. Fireworks going off above Turf Moor. Will there be even more fireworks? 
once Burnley win on Saturday. Burnley are the Premier League champions for 2017-2018. Well, that is the final outcome of the Barclays Premier League. Burnley, the winners by seven points. Uh, from Chelsea, who finished joint second with Arsenal, but finished second overall because of their better goal difference. They were four goals better off than Arsenal were. Arsenal finishing third. Tottenham grabbed the final auth automatic Champions League spot ahead of Man City, who have to make do with a Europa League place. Uh, Liverpool six, West Brom accredited double seventh. Newcastle eighth above Manchester United, who finished ninth. Villa accredited double tenth. Norwich and Swansea finishing well, even though Swansea did lose on uh, just then. Southampton Palace, Stoke stayed up, and Watford stayed up on goal difference. Leicester finished one point above the drop in the end, and um, the unfortunate three to go. As I said earlier, Swansea, uh, Sunderland and West Ham rather had already gone by then, but it's Paul Clements Derby, who unfortunately are relegated. And... I'm also going to check as well uh, the championship table because I can t and I will reveal the two teams that are guaranteed for sure to be uh, in the championship. The top two are Everton, as we knew. Whole City could still conceivably go. They've still got one game to go. Actually, the uh, the championship sides, uh, the playoffs. That could now boil down between three clubs that are sixth place. Well, there's four clubs battling for two places because Sheffield Wednesday, Wolves, Cardiff and Middlesbrough are fighting over those last two playoff spots. Fulham are guaranteed a playoff spot. QPR could still get in there in second place. But from Middlesbrough upwards, it's anybody's for the playoffs. But Everton will be back in the Premier League. They've only... In fact, they only lost three games all season out of 45. They've won 32 and drawn 10 and have scored 106 points. And uh, let me bring you also up to date with the um, the World Cup because honestly, I need to go through the actual scores with you now. England have in their group Mexico, Colombia, And Denmark. Mexico, Colombia and Denmark. A good good group there for England. Also Wales are qualified as you know. Let's have a look at the, all the World Cup groups because I think it's important that we have a look at the, the World Cup groups. Obviously because the next video is going to be taken up exclusively to this European Cup final that's uh, coming up thick and fast for Burnley. And we don't want the World Cup raining on that parade. So let's look at the World Cup then in far more detail. Group A is the Netherlands, Belgium, Belgium, Holland, Brava, Sweden and Chile. England's group, Group B, England, Denmark, Mexico and Colombia. Group C, France, Northern Ireland. Well done, Michael McDonald again getting through there. China and Uruguay. Going to be a tough group there. Two to qualify, remember from all these groups. Group D, the group of death they call it, Argentina, Switzerland, Russia and New Zealand. Italy, Hungary, Chris Commons, Wales and the Ivory Coast. Group F includes Germany, Slovenia, the USA and Egypt. So uh, you'd have to say Shocking outside, have a good chance of progressing in that group. Spain, kick off Group D with alongside Bulgaria, Australia, and Cameroon. And finally, Group H sees Brazil and Portugal pair together. That that match between those two nations will be a classic. Finland and South Africa complete the World Cup lineup. Anyway, that's it for our 
uh, the league's programme this season. I hope very much you've enjoyed the Burnley Premier League adventure. Now it's one more domestic game to go. Real Madrid in the European Cup final. I, for one, can't wait. Join us on Saturday for that one if you can. Till then, till then, keep subscribing and we'll look forward to your company at the European Cup final on Saturday night. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. So, the Premier League is going to be presented by Richard Scudamore, the chairman of the Premier League, and Burnley are the champions of England again!